Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another MAT 170 concept session. My name is Nick, and I work with the ASU Tutoring Centers, and today we're going to be talking about how to deal with negative angles on a unit circle. Now, um, there's a couple of routes that you can take um, in order to solve negative angles, and we'll talk about both of them. So um, the first route is to, so the first route is, let's talk about first just like how we solve a regular um, positive angle, right? So we have cosine of negative 45 degrees, right? Now let's first figure out how do we find the cosine of 45 degrees, right? So we know that since it's talking about cosine, we take the x value, right, of the coordinate. Now with 45, what we'll do, what we normally do is we go counterclockwise, right, up to the 45 degree here um, from zero, and then take that x value, right? Well, the first route in solving a negative angle, um, what we can actually do is just, um, instead of going counterclockwise, we just go clockwise. So we see the negative 45 degrees here, right? So instead of going um, counterclockwise, what we'll do is go clockwise to 45 degrees, which is this guy right here, the 315. So really when we say cosine of negative 45 degrees, what we're really saying is the cosine of um, 315 degrees, which then if we look at it, um, we see the x value here, square root two over two, and it's positive. So that's our first answer, right? And then for the second one, so for sine of negative 30 degrees, we'll do the same thing, right? Um, so we're gonna go clockwise, right? 30 degrees, so that'll take us to um, 330 right there. So it's really saying the sine of 330. And then what we can do, remember we're looking for sine, so that's gonna be the y, which is uh, negative 1 half. And that's how you solve negative angles on a unit circle. Um, another way that you can also kind of look at, um, in case you, maybe you forget that you have to go clockwise instead of counterclockwise. Um, another way that you can also do it is just to subtract the number in here that's negative from 360, right? So 360 minus um, 45 equals 315, right? And then 360 minus 30 equals 330, which were both of those uh, respective uh, angles that we found. So just another way to look at it. Um, it's still going to be the same process though of like whenever we have cosine we take the x coordinate, whenever we have sine we take the y. Um, that all remains consistent. It's just the direction you go on the unit circle. Um, but hopefully that was able to help you out a little bit. If you have any other additional questions go ahead and check out tutoring.asu.edu for more information on all the free resources available to you as an ASU student. We have tutoring centers located on all four major campuses of ASU as well as an online tutoring center as well. So definitely check us out. If you enjoyed this concept video and wanna check out more just like it, go ahead and click on that other link on your screen and that'll direct you to a list of all of the different concept sessions that we've done for not only MAT 170, but also for a few other math courses um, offered at ASU. So definitely check us out. But other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and good luck in your course.